Happy Dave Day to all of you out there. I'm here with Dave Seaman, Standard Speaker, Sports Editor. Busy time of year with state playoffs going on, Dave. The Hazleton girls just keep rolling on this season. A buzzer beater from Virginia Yurchak ensures them, gets them into the second round of the state playoffs. Steve Stallone covered that game for the team. Great description. Read the article on standardspeaker.com. And emotional from Joe Gavio, and he said everyone kind of got involved. And I think the quote even was, have you ever seen so many big plays made in one game? Yeah, there are a lot of big plays made by different people. Everybody stepped up when they had to. They got down by seven points in the beginning of the fourth quarter, and uh, you would thought, okay, well, maybe the uh, nice season for Lady Cougars, but maybe it was going to be over. But uh, this team has believed all season. The players themselves, the coaches are believing, and uh, it's it's you know it's one of those rides you want to get into. You want to get hot this time of the year, and. Uh, they're riding that momentum right now. And Dave, another team that had to battle back um, to move on to the second round of the playoffs was the Monoy Area Girls basketball team. Quite a run. I mean, I forget exactly what it was. Something, an no run that um, the Lady Bears went on. I got to cover the team last week, and it was interesting. We were talking, Abby McGee actually wasn't there at the practice I was at, but so many of her um, uh, teammates and her coaches were, were talking about her, and they just mentioned how when she went down toward the end of the season, it kind of made them stronger maybe a little bit you know they they grew a little bit as a team and you're seeing this team grow and grow more and more i know they've had the experience from years past but the run they're making this year is impressive too we actually have our feature on ssp tv news this week on the monoy area lady bears and one of the part of the equation i used for their success was speed and emily lawrence they get 20 points in that game someone told me one of the players on the team said emily's the fastest on this team so a lot of success there for monoy area dave shane newton went out to the um, piaa triple a state wrestling tournament and 220 20 pounds and really wanted a state medal been denied in years past yeah when you look at what Shane's been able to accomplish this year when you're in your first 40 plus matches of the season you go into the state tournament you win your first two matches by pin and uh, uh, then you're and then you're thinking state championship too but uh, it only gets tougher when you get to that point too and uh, uh, Shane went against a very good kid in uh, Nate Sean from Sealands Grove in the semifinals and uh, you know uh, Nate was able to beat Shane and hand Shane his first loss then he went against the defending state champion in his next match lost a 5-3 decision there and at that point, you're going to say, okay, well, I'm still getting my medal. I'll be, I'll be happy with that. But uh, no, that's not kind of athlete Shane Noonan is, the kind of wrestler he is. He bounced back out of 3 2, uh, like you said, uh, an overtime win, a uh, sudden victory situation in, in wrestling, and uh, able to come home with a fifth place medal. And uh, I, I know he's later disappointed that that medal wasn't a higher place medal, but uh, you know, you get a, a fifth place medal at states uh, against the level of competition that Pennsylvania has in wrestling, uh, that, 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 that's a great accomplishment. And a big congratulations to Mono Area's Colin Figley as well, finishing in third place with a senior season from him. And Dave Seaman had all the coverage of the Hazleton Area Boys basketball team over the weekend. Go to standardspeaker.com to check that out. Dave, we have something special for everyone out there today. I talked with our friend Lamont White, former NFL football player, played on the practice team with the Minnesota Vikings. He's doing an event with someone um, near and dear to our hearts as, as Penn State fans. Let's check out um, this segment. You know you're always welcome here. We've done several stories with you and College Football Hall of Famer Major Harris, but Lamont also knows um, a, a, this will always get you a ticket onto our set. Lamont, I have this um, picture right here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, that's um, Lamont White and uh, Saquon Barkley. He said that to me last weekend. There's a big event coming up that um, Saquon will be a part of that you'll be a part of too to benefit the Lehigh Valley Cancer Institute. The whole Barkley family, it seems, you said you were talking to Saquon's mom. Um, I've read a ton of feature stories on Saquon Barkley. It just seems like such a nice family. Now, you know his uncle in that too, and you can attest that. You, and that, now you've met Saquon. Yeah. Oh, man, I'll tell you, he's one of the best human beings that you ever meet in these days ever with these young guys. Very well spoken, good young man, take his time taking pictures, and he, he, he can't say enough good things about him. His fa family, great family, great family. So, Lamont, your way to the NFL, you really had you work to get there, get on a practice team with the Minnesota Vikings. Saquon's route now, he gets drafted, you know, very high in that, but you've been in the world of the NFL. What is that like, and what has impressed you with Saquon? Not only his play, but how he's handled all of the attention. Well, coming from where he come from, like, worked so hard, and like, uh, you know, he wasn't recruited by a lot of big-time colleges, and that's impressive. I mean, how can we miss a kid like him? Rutgers could have tried yeah. to get him. You know, b born in the Bronx, ended up in Allentown, Pennsylvania. I mean, this kid is amazing, and, I'm, and nothing but the best for the best for him. Can't say enough good things about him. He's one of the best rookies I've seen in a long time, last 30 years. Now, another friend of SSP TV, Major Harris, who always have a ball when he's in here on West Virginia University in the College Football Hall of Fame. You said he recruited Saquon a, a little bit. It was there, a, right? a coach that recruited Mage. Okay. And uh, that's how he was telling Mage about this kid. Man, this boy is a bad boy. You got to <laughs> see him. And it's so funny. It, 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 coach went and raved about Saquon. He's everything and more. 
what the coach said about him. Man. So the reason we're talking about all this, though, there is an event coming up. It's on March 30th. It's called Celebration of Champions. And this is for clinical research as well, so helping fight cancer. Why is so important to you? I mean, obviously it's important to everybody. Oh, everybody I, wants it, to fight it, cancer. It, Finally it, end this. Yeah, you ain't. It, it's a, that's a tough. That's, that's killing a lot of people. I mean, it's taking a lot of people out. I mean, people that's been in great shape. It don't matter. That's a disease. Athletes, the athletes everybody. It don't, it, don't, it don't have no discrimination. It's getting everybody. So they're trying to get a good cure for it. Hopefully they come up with a thing for it and try to make sure they take care of everybody. Thank you for your time and for all you do for this area and, and all around.